So you may remember the Pig Grinder mod that I've reviewed a couple of times before. Well, this is by the same creator, and it's called the Attachable Grinders mod. And, uh, well, as you can see, it uh, includes a, a fair amount of new mobs that uh, actually throw out quite a bit of loot on them. Now, as you can see, it is actually fairly nice, and uh, you can create a fairly good farm with this. Um, so here I have all the mobs that you can have. You can have a pig, you can have a cow, a chicken, a zombie, a creeper, and a skeleton currently. Now, when I first uh, didn't read the farm thread, I just installed it. I was like, oh boy, I'm going to put it on a ghast, and I'm going to put it on a slime. And unfortunately, it did not work. Hey, what is, what is happening? Oh, they explode after a while. Okay, okay. So, they explode after a while, after they've actually excreted all, all their belongings. As you can see, that cow sort of, I, I sort of set them up at the same time. That's why they sort of ex all exploded at the same time. And, oh, there's a little bit of an explosion there. You guys be friendly. You be friendly there, zombie. But you can see we are setting up a quite a nice uh, sort of loot farm, but you can see that it also uh, destroys it. So you can stop, uh, so, so it can actually sort of counterbalance um, actually creating a farm. So you can see it does quite a bit of damage through a mob destroying it. So it sort of counterbalances if you want to make it a farm. So it, it's very nicely balanced, so it's not overpowered as such. Now, the way you craft it is some iron ingots and some bricks. So uh, I shall get that recipe up now. So so the recipe is fairly simple, you need some iron ingots and some bricks and redstone in the center to create one grinder, now one grinder works on one mob and then gets destroyed, you can't take it off or on or back on and off, you can't really do that, you can just collect it and uh, wait until the cow explodes and gives you enough loot which is very, very efficient but uh, I guess, I guess it costs a little bit of iron to get that uh, running up and so. Now, of course, this mod has a config file. So how about I go and mischievously edit some numbers and uh, hopefully we can get some explosive uh, explosions of meat, bone meal, skeleton, ores, and absolutely crazy everything. So uh, how about we go do that now? Oh, uh, yes. It, uh, it uh, seems that I have managed to do something a little bit more erratic, but uh, I want something more crazy. I want to... Uh, Make it go crazy. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, look at this. I, the, this is crazy. I've modified the config file and I've mucked around with some numbers. It's very nicely explained in the config file what the actual numbers do. So it's very noob friendly and beginner friendly and that creeper ma managed to escape. Escape the raft and uh, what I've done is I extended the uh, sort of explosion duration. So they have to do 500 uh, sort of shots of feathers or any items before they actually explode and uh, I've set the frequency of explosion to like one second no two seconds and uh, it's it's all crazy it's not as crazy as it can be I reckon but I don't want to screw up minecraft or lag it up even more but uh, I, I, I guess I can you know what I should I should make minecraft crash I think it's quite safe to say that uh, I have changed this mod quite a bit. Um, you can see the items are very sporadic now. I've changed the power of the, the everything. I've basically changed a lot of the things. And uh, some of the mobs are exploding now because they've done already 500 uh, sort of drops of uh, items. You can change it all you want in the uh, config folder that's located in your .minecraft to uh, actually uh, entice you to play or muck around with mods. And uh, this uh, uh, works with every single mod. Uh, that has a config file you can muck around and change the values and uh, sort of make things stronger and nerf them as you would like uh, just a little nice friendly little tip that you can do and you can see the wide assortment of stuff now one thing that I may suggest to this mod uh, to actually incorporate every single type of mod no matter what it is uh, from squids to gas to uh, to um Slimes. It'd be really awesome to see explosions for every single one of them. Uh, did that? Did the bacon just fly at me? It's getting really laggy now. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Look at the plethora of food that we have. We're not going to go hungry tonight. Well, if you are going hungry, hopefully you can eat the screen or something along the lines of that. And as always, have a nice day. And don't forget to rate, or not rate the video, like the video. Have a nice day.